Paka. A quick wave before packing up and being sealed inside for the long journey home. Bye bye. The two Russians and one American have spent the past five and a half months in the International Space Station, which seen here drifts into the distance as the Soyuz capsule departs. Soyuz TMA-22 now undocking. The capsule carrying the three men will hit the Earth's atmosphere before being parachuted to Kazakhstan. It's hard for me to believe that our nearly six-month expedition is coming to an end. It seems like Anton, Anatoly and I just arrived in our Soyuz yesterday. And it's been a busy stay, carrying out scientific experiments, upgrading equipment and software and installing high-speed cables. We have succeeded in safely and successfully operating a nearly million pound spacecraft in uh, one of the most hazardous and difficult environments we know. This is the team of spacemen who will replace the departing crew. Another two Russians and one American are due to arrive on the space station in a fortnight and team up with the crew already on board. How lucky we are to be able to come out here, uh, train with the cosmonauts, our training team, and to learn a new spacecraft like the Soyuz. It has a great history. The Soyuz spacecraft have been the only way to taxi to and from the station since the US ended its shuttle program last year. But a race is on among private companies, which are competing to send their own rockets into space. Jason Om, ABC News.